using some product function we can do a lookup based on two or more criteria here is the syntax the sum product function multiplies arrays together and returns the sum of products if only one array is supplied some product will simply sum the items in the array to find the budget and manager based on region and department we can use some product we have the region in g3 and department in g4 use this formula multiply the three arrays and pass the resulting array as an argument to the sum product function the first expression compares every cell in a range with a value and returns an array of trues and falses depending on the result the region in g3 is compared to every cell in the region range a2 to a16 and an array of true or false is returned true is returned if the value matches if not false is returned in the next expression department value in g4 is compared to the department range in b2 to b16 and true false array is returned the third expression does not contain a comparison because that range contains the value we want to return when the arrays are multiplied true becomes 1 and false becomes 0 If either the region comparison or the department comparison is false the total for that line will be zero false result is converted to zero and anything multiplied by zero is zero if both region and department match both comparisons return one the two ones are multiplied with the corresponding row in column d and that's the value returned this resulting array is passed to the sum product function which sums all the items in the array since all the items are zero except the item in the matching row the resulting sum is 425000 this is the value in the budget column for the east legal department sum product works this way only when we want to return a number if we pass text values to sum product it will return an error for example pass the range for manager you can see it shows an error we can use sum product index and row functions to return text to return the manager's name use this formula instead of returning the values from column c the row function is used to return the row numbers in the array the third array returns the row numbers only in the seventh row values in array 1 and array 2 are true when the three arrays are multiplied values in all other rows are zero except in the seventh row when the resulting array is passed to some product since the rest of the values in the array are zero some product returns 7 7 is passed as the row number argument to the index function because the row function returns the row in the worksheet and not the row in the table index uses the whole column as its range the index function when used on a single column needs only a row argument the value in seventh row from the manager column is returned to download practice excel file please click on the link in the description if you like this video please subscribe to our channel